Good evening, everybody. Good evening. And congratulations once again to Mr. and Mrs. Sakupen on the birth of your bundle of joy. Thank God. Thank God. And um, I welcome everybody to this naming ceremony. First of all, I have to say thank you to the family for asking us from Trinity Chapel. Um, my name is Bolusio uh, Amusha, and this is Mr. Femi Alabi. We attend Trinity Chapel, which the couple attend as well. And on behalf of our pastors, I say welcome and thank you once again. Our pastors are Pastor Yemi Odusholu and Pastor Jumoke Odusholu. Um, we have asked anyone else to do it, but we say thank you for the privilege to name your baby. So we don't take it for granted. We say thank you. And um, so we're going to um, proceed with the naming ceremony now. So we'll start with um, the opening prayer. Um, let's just bow down our heads uh, to pray. Heavenly Father, the maker of all things, the creator of all things, the one in whom all things consist, mm. the one in whom all things exist. Yes. We thank you for a day like this. Thank you. A day that you have ordained from the foundation of the world. Yes, we thank you for a day like this that you have ordained that it will be a day of joy in this family. Mm. We thank you because it is a day that you have said the cup, the joy will be full. Yes. We thank you because it is a day that you have said that it will be a day of rejoicing that we will not come out of joy with them. We give you all the praise, we give yes, you all the glory, we give you all the adoration. Yes, you are indeed the God that bears good gifts. Mm -hmm. And we thank you for the good gift that you brought into this family. Mm -hmm. We commit this naming ceremony into your hand. Yes. Holy Spirit, take your place. Yes. Take center stage in this ceremony. Yes. All that we will do, all that we will utter, will be according to the will of the Most High in the name of Jesus. Amen. will be according to the plans and the purposes that God has for this family and this young yes. man in the name of Jesus. Amen. Take absolute control. We oh, sanctify yes. this home with the blood of Jesus. Amen. You see, by reason of being here, everything that will go on from now on will be changed for the better in the name of Jesus. Amen. We need to greater glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. We start to manifest your presence and your grace and your shekinah yes. glory in this household in the name of Amen. Jesus. Whatever it is that has been a challenge, that has been a problem, from today, there will be no more in the name of Amen. Jesus. The sound of rejoicing will come into this home in the name of Jesus. Amen. And it will never depart. Yes. Like the ark of the covenant, your covenant will remain in this household in the name of Jesus. Amen. Take absolute control concerning all that we will do. Yes. Let your name be glorified. Amen. Let your name be exalted. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 So we're going to um, thank God now. We say praise and worship. So. Uh, we're going to take some songs to just thank God because it is always a good thing. Um, the Bible tells us that um, the God that we serve, he doesn't need anybody. But in heaven, they bow down. The 24 angels, they bow down, they take their crown, they bow down, and they just say, holy, holy, it's the Lord God Almighty. Mm. But he has done something good for us. Yeah. So we want to say thank you. So we're going to all rise and you can stay seated. Stay seated. We're going to all rise and then we're going to. Does anybody know how to sing? That can everybody, but we'll take we'll sing it together because God made all our voices and then we will rejoice together. Oh Lord, we are very, very grateful for all you have done for us. Oh Lord, we are very, very grateful and we say. We are very, very grateful for all you have done for us. Oh Lord, we are very, very grateful. And we say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh Lord, we are very, very grateful for all you have done for us. Oh Lord, we are very, very grateful. 
thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jehovah Almighty. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jehovah Almighty. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We praise you. Thank you, Lord, for what you have done, Lord. We 
we bow at your throne, thy dominion be forever, the great I am from ever to ever, for you made on the throne, the one that is excellent, Beautiful in all its ways. Thank you for the beauty in this house. We say thank you, Lord. None can be compared to you, O oh Lord. We honor your name. Take all the glory and adoration. There is none like you. We are just full of joy, Lord. You are good. You are kind. Good to be familiar, O Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, we yes. yes. take all the glory, take all the adoration, and we yes. 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 be exalted. In Jesus' name, we praise and worship. Amen. Amen. Be lifted high. Be lifted high. Say, let it be more of you and less of us. Amen. Let it be all of you and none of us. Amen. Father, even as we go into your world, we've got a short word of exhortation. The Bible says that the entrance of your world brings light and understanding to the simple. Amen. Father, even as we delve into your word of God, as we speak tonight of God, we ask God that you will make our hearts simple, O God. Amen. That our hearts will be receptive to your word Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. That your word of God will fall on fertile ground, Amen. even in the name of Jesus. Amen. That as we hear your word, Lord, we will run with the word. Amen. Your word will profit us, Amen. and our profit will appear unto us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, thank you for this ceremony. Thank you for this atmosphere, oh God. Amen. Father, we ask, oh God, that you take absolute control, Amen. even in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let this atmosphere, oh God, be permissible for the move of the Holy Spirit Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, it's not about us, oh God, but about you. Father, therefore, take center stage. Amen. And at the end, oh God, let your name alone be glorified. Amen. Even in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. We are exalted forever and ever, oh God. Amen. For in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Please be seated. Please be seated. Congratulations once more. Um, oh, we all know that uh, a, a child... You know, to any family is an addition, you know, and it's a special occasion as well, you know, for us to sort of gather together like this and, and name a child. You know, as uh, the devolution said, you know, we're from Trinity Chapel, you know, and we are here on behalf of our pastor, Pastor Yemi Udusholu, and also Pastor Chumoke as well. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, when I say something, uh, we're rejoicing now. This is a <laughs> gift of life. So when I say something, please let's rejoice together. We're not here to mourn, but we're here to celebrate. Praise God, celebrate life. Who amongst us here can give life? No one except God. So it's a beautiful thing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 <coughs> Hallelujah. Amen. I remember when I had my first child. Well, is it me or my wife? Or both of us. <laughs> 32, 32 years ago. You know, that was the best day. Apart from the day I got married, it was the best day of my life. You know, the day I got married. And then my first child came, and my second one came, and I was there to witness both. 
and, and my perception of women changed. You know, I, the respect I had for my wife went from, I don't know what else, from 8 to 20 over 10. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So I hope you also feel the same way too. Yeah, yeah, you know, incidentally, yeah. his name, he bears the same name as my wife. You know, my wife is also ready. You know, <laughs> praise the Lord. Yeah, yeah. You know, God, God is good yeah. all the time, and His mercies endure forever. forever. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 I'm going to read a scripture for us, and you know, incidentally, you know, um, when I was preparing for this message yesterday, yesterday evening, um, and and God led me to a scripture, and ironically, you know, it's not. Coincidentally, because God orchestrates everything. Uh, the scripture that God did on my yesterday, He actually mentioned it in the prayer we're going at this morning. You know, John 10. Okay. You know, the good shepherd and all of that. I said, oh God, now I know this is the message for your people. You know, because I was at the webinar this morning. Every, okay, you, you are in the yeah. church of you. So every, every morning we have a prayer webinar from 6 o'clock to 6 30 p.m. You know, and He took the webinar this morning and I said, Oh God, okay, we're here together. And the scripture I'm going to use, he also mentioned it this morning. So you can tell that the Spirit of God is what? Is one. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm going to read from John chapter 10 from verse 14 to verse 14 to 18. The Bible says, I am the good shepherd, and I know my sheep, and I am known by my own. As the Father knows me, so I know the Father. I lay down my life for the sheep. You know, those are the words I want us to put in our heart. I lay down my life for for the sheep, and other sheep I have which are not in, of this fold. Them also I must bring, and they will hear my voice, mm -hmm. and there will be one flock and one shepherd. Therefore, my father loves me because I lay down my life that I may take it again. Have you noticed the word I, I, I? This is Jesus speaking now. He didn't say we, he said I. Praise the Lord. Amen. No one takes it for me, but I lay down of myself. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it again. This command I have received from my father praise the lord Hallelujah. praise the lord Hallelujah. you know the emphasis there you know jesus kept saying I, I i i and in this context you know the i will be the two of you because in the eyes of god two is what two is one praise the lord two is what two is one you are the shepherd huh? and your son is the sheep in this instance praise the lord Hallelujah. so you have the responsibility to lay down your life for what for your child Praise the Lord. Amen. You know, we all know the significance, the biblical, spiritual significance of making a child. There are many reasons. We look all Praise through the Bible. Lord. Even God Himself told His servant to name all the animals. Those are animals, not even human beings. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, naming a child is very significant. And how is this significant? It's apart from the fact that it, it identifies one child from another. You know, my name is Femi. You know, if anyone says Femi here, I watch what's in the tongue and say, Who's calling me? If anyone says Remy, you know, naturally you will turn and look. You may not be the only Remy, but you will turn yeah. and look. So a name identifies a child. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And his name, just what? Hallelujah. Identifies a child. A name also surrounds the circumstance of the child's birth. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'll give an example. If a child is called Ige, for those of us who are in Romans, what does that mean? Praise the Lord. Yeah? <laughs> Praise the Lord. So every child, a child naturally will come through your head. No. Some come through. Come through yeah, come through our head. head. And what are those children come called? Head. <laughs> They're called Ige. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, one is Ojo and one is Ige. Praise the Lord. So oh, yeah. it, it talks about the circumstance in which a child was born. For example, Bodupe. Would mean many things. My sister's name is Budupe, for example. The, the, what surrounded her birth was that my mom wanted to kill the three boys. I wanted to kill. And in the process, she almost lost her life. Oh. In the process of trying to have a girl, and lucky day was a girl, and she, well, we named her, well, I said, we, my parents named her. <laughs> Budupe, meaning that, you know, I found God. Number one, I didn't lose my life. Number two, I had a child that I wanted to kill. You know, praise the Lord. Amen. My name is Samuel, for example. The circumstance around my birth was that my, my parents, my mom particularly, she was in her late 30s when she had me, and then she called, she named me Samuel, you know, for acts of what? Of the Lord. You know, so every child, you know, in Christendom, when they name a child, it also talks about the circumstance surrounding the birth of that child. Praise the Lord. Amen. You know, it also communicates 
God's message. You know, it established an affiliation with God. You know, if you name a child a certain name, it, it tells you straight away. You know, if someone is called Jacob or, or Samuel or Samson, you know, it's an affiliation with who? With God. It's also an indication of the child's destiny. Hmm? My, my wife, her name is Olu, Olu You know, when her mom or her parents had her, they had had, I think, one or two before her, you know, and they died, you know, simultaneously. And then they had one, and then she she stayed, and they named her Olu Praise the Lord. You know, so every one of us, if we check our names, apart from those funny names that Americans like to bear, which some of them have no meaning at all, but generally as Christians, our names carry meaning and importance as well. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. However, today I'm not going to talk about, you know, our, our importance of names and, and the circumstances of our birth and also the fact that it connects us with God. You know, but my child is going to be more to the parents today because the child is here and alive. Spiritually, she can, he, can, uh, he can hear us, but my child will be to both of you. You know, because we live in a society that is becoming too permissive. You know, parents are becoming too lax. You know, parents are saying, oh, yeah, you know, another child is what the child wants to be. Oh, this and that and the other. You know, we're beginning to, I'm not saying you in particular, but parents are beginning to lower the standard. Discipline is beginning to disappear from families. You know, there's too much permissiveness. And sadly, this permissiveness is also entering into churches now. That people are just doing what they want to do. You know, it's okay. And I'm not trying to be controversial here. You know, I'm just, this is me personally. It's okay for, uh, I'm going to be controversial. It's okay for a, a, a man, or it's, or it's okay for, uh, let me change, let me flip it. It's okay for uh, an intended prime minister not to be able to define who a woman is. Uh, what's that? Uh, Kiasama. They asked him, who is a woman? He couldn't tell who a woman is. But we all know who a woman is. God made a he and a she. Praise the Lord. There's a he and there's a she. There's no he, she. And there's no she becoming a he and a he becoming a what? A she. If you struggle to define who a woman is or a man is, then that's a problem. Praise the Lord. And we live in a society where it's becoming more and more permissive. You know, to do things that are against the scriptures. And I'm talking to you as Christians. Yeah. And the kind of principle in raising up your child should be what should be according to the word of God. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, train up a child in the way it should go. And when it grows, what happens? It will never depart from you. Who does the training? Don't speak in the bigger. You said, Save me. And then you said, Me. We. And then, wait, wait. Save me first. Save me. Save me. And then say, We. we. Praise the Lord. Amen. So you have a responsibility to train this child in the word of God. It is not my responsibility. It's not their responsibility. We all get gathered to witness the ceremony. But at the end of the day, who is God going to ask? Both of you. God will not ask. I believe we look alike. I believe your sisters. <laughs> I praise the Lord. So God will ask her. God will ask your family. God will ask you. Praise the Lord. Amen. So it is important that as you raise this child, you raise him in what in the way of the Lord. And how do you do that? Praise the Lord. That's what I'm going to go into now. How do you now raise a child in the way of the Lord? You know, we read a scripture that's now John chapter 10, from verses 18, 14 to 18. Describing who a shepherd is. In this instance, you're both a shepherd and your son is a sheep. Not literally. Praise the Lord. It's a human being. But that's how the Bible talks about sometimes figuratively. You know, so what are the qualities of a, of a good shepherd, both of you? You know, a shepherd nurtures. Praise the Lord. A shepherd nurtures. In this case, you're both responsible for nurturing your son. And what does it mean to nurture a child? Provide for that child, food, support, education, sustenance, development. You watch this child develop from one stage to another. Today, a baby, next day, he will begin to crawl, he will begin to walk, he will begin to talk. Praise the Lord. And in these modern times, we have uh, uh, cameras on our phones to record in our own time. There was nothing like that. Nothing like that. You know, you can record his first walk, uh, no, his first crawl. His first walk, his first talking. Praise the Lord. So you watch him develop. 
and you will do what you aid him to develop. And how does he develop? By providing nutrients, food that he needs. And what kind of food? The food that he needs for each stage of his development. You will not, for example, give him beef to eat, for example. Praise the Lord. The child requires what? No. To sustain him. To grow. So that he's not malnourished. And, and God will help you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The Bible says, Can a woman forget her nursing child and not have compassion on the son of the womb? Surely they will forget, yet I will not forget. You will not forget a child, Amen. and God will not forget you in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. You know, provision. You know, I don't need to talk about provision as already a roof. You know, you know, you know responsible for providing a roof over his head. You know, our, our clothes and his bath, shoes on his face. Some people had, for, for, for example, those who go to Medin, uh, General Basia, when he was growing up, you know, he never had shoes. He went to school without shoes. You know, some of us are privileged. You know, and I, I know your son is also privileged. You know, he will have a choice of what to wear. You know, kids nowadays have a choice of what to wear. When my son was growing up, he was into football. You know, and it used to cost us so much money. You know, you buy, you, so whatever Mark was since it was man you, you know, you, they'll come out with a jersey, we'll buy it. The following season, another one comes out. The following season, another one comes out. And they were getting more, more expensive. We started with 40 pounds, for 50 pounds, for 60 pounds, I can't remember what. And then we stopped when we started walking. I said, God, thank you. <laughs> praise <laughs> the Lord. You know, praise the Lord. So those are the things. So training a child, nurturing a child, providing for a child is becoming more and more expensive. You know, but God that has given you this gift of life will make a way for you in Jesus' name. Amen. And you'll be able to provide for this child. Amen. When it's time for him to go to school, when he wants to go to private school or whatever school, God will make a way that you're able to train him in the way you want him to be in Jesus' name. Amen. Maybe he wants to be a doctor in the future, he wants to be a lawyer, whatever it is, all these things are quite expensive. But God will provide for you even as you provide for him in Jesus' name. Amen. So a good shepherd provides, you know, for his own. You know, the Bible in 1 Timothy uh, 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 5 verse 8, chapter 5 verse 8, it says, um, But if anyone does not provide for his own, and especially those of his household, he has denied the faith, and his what is worse than an unbeliever. That's what the Bible says. So you have a responsibility. It's even compulsion. Not even just a responsibility. It is compulsory for you to provide for this child. The child has to come to this world. Yeah. I hope you know that. Yeah. Yeah? The child never has to come to this world. You made a decision between the two of you. And that's something like a mistake. That is a mistake. No. No. You know, you ask for this child to come to the world, therefore you're what? You're responsible. And if you don't do what God wants you to do, the Bible says what? You're worse than an infidel. I know that would not be a portion in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, you're surrounded by family, you have a comfortable home, so there's no reason why you will not provide for this child. And God will help you as to do so. In Jesus' name, yeah. Yeah. praise the Lord. Yeah. Training, you know, training, you know, training is difficult sometimes and tough. When I was growing up, the first child of my parents, oh God, you know, what is called discipline, you know, you can't do that anymore. If you do that, that's child abuse. <laughs> yeah, praise the Lord. Yeah, yeah. You know, if you do that, you, your parents will smack you. My, my dad is smart. Smart yeah. isn't even a man. Smart it, it will beat you. Anything, whether it's a shoe or belt or slap, whatever is within the vicinity, praise the Lord, Amen. we hit you with. You know, but all that has changed now. You know, but it does not now mean that we cannot discipline our children. Yes. You know, there are ways to discipline our children, to train our children. The Bible says, train up your child in the way you should go. And what happens when he grows? Will not depart from it. How do you train your child with the word of God? Train the child with the word of God. As he grows up, it's at the school, junior church, all those things that will help him to grow in the kingdom of God. When we're in, when we're in Nigeria, we have our kids in Nigeria. Uh, um, what do you call it? Uh, workers' meeting was 7 a.m. And we'll drag our kids to workers' meeting. Today, we don't need to tell them to come to church. They're active in church. And it's not because we force them to, but because we raise them in that environment. So they got used to that environment. And when God we came to London, we get to church 8 in the morning. I was very active in church, still active. 8 in the morning, I would only leave until 4 in the afternoon. So they grew up in a church setting. Praise the Lord. Yeah. And that's what you need to do. To train this child. Your, your teachers won't train them in the way God wants you to train them. There's a lot of laxity 
a lot of free will. A lot of oh, let them do what they want to do. You know, a lot of that training your child must be in the way of the Lord and in accordance with the word of God. And God will help you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate upon it one day and night. Speak the word of God to this child. That is a, is a child when you can hear. They have a spirit. Some people speak to their child even when they're in the womb. They say the scriptures, they prophesy to that child. So speak the word of God to that child day and one and night. And he wakes up when he goes to bed. He will hear. I will say something now in Yoruba. Forgive me if you don't understand Yoruba. If I tell you about JLA, I'm a grateful. Can you inter- who can interpret that for me? Mm-hmm. Is what is the seed that you plant in that child mm-hmm. that the child will grow up with? So what kind of seed do you want to plant in his life? And I believe that you plant the word of God in the life of the child in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I'm going to read something I wrote here. I said, a good shepherd trains his sheep. It is the responsibility of a parent to train their child and not teachers or extend family. In the African setting, it is common parlance that it takes a community to raise a child. In as much as this could be true, it does not remove the responsibility from the parent. God will never hold another person responsible but the parents. Parents are caretakers on behalf of what? Of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hebrews 12, 11 says, now no chastening seems to be joyful for the present. No chastening is joyful. Though. Like you tell of a child or you berate a child, it's not, it's not joyful. No child wants it. You know, growing up, I used to think, oh, my dad was wicked. But when I grew up, I understood that he, he was showing love, but a funny way of showing love. <laughs> Just to make sure that I didn't go the other way. Mm-hmm. Praise the Lord. Mm-hmm. And when I grew up, I really came to appreciate my dad because if he didn't do that, I probably would end up on the streets mm-hmm. or without an education. Mm-hmm. Because I was very playful. You know, all I wanted to do was just play, 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 play. I would go and play football. All I wanted to do was play football. You know, I would go and play football and I get injured and I'll be limping. But once I see my dad from my air shot, <laughs> I'll just start walking straight. The pain will be more. <laughs> Otherwise, it's one slap. <laughs> I'm doing what I love doing most. Praise the Lord. You know, so God will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, praise the Lord. Training is, 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 is not joyful for the present, but painful. Nevertheless, afterwards, it yields the peaceable fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained by it. I'll read that again. Hebrews 12, 11. Now no chastening seems to be joyful for the present, but painful. Nevertheless, afterwards, it yields the peaceable fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained by by it. Relationship, very important. Relationship. You know, um, kids nowadays learn a lot from social media. Social media is some children, is a mentor. They see things on social media and want to be like, you know, our, our models are skinny and all of that. They starve themselves, they do this, and they post some filth on social media. And, and kids are, they spend hours on social media. Praise the Lord. Some of them are disconnected from their parents. Some are disconnected that they can't even, they can't even, they don't even have a relationship with their parents. And what then happens? They end up in a gang because the, the gang members provide for them what their parents will provide for them: a relationship. Praise the Lord. Yeah. You know, when my son was growing up, when he went to the university, every went to Birmingham every month. I go and see Birmingham and go and watch a football game together. Was Birmingham, we can either watch uh, Aston Villa, Arsenal, Aston Villa, Liverpool, Aston Villa every month. Every month. And if the game is in the daytime, I'll come back to London. Otherwise, I'll sleep in a hotel in Birmingham and come back the next day. What I was doing was I was building a relationship mm-hmm. with him. There's nothing that my son can't tell me because he knows my mentality, he knows my thinking. Praise the Lord. You have to form a relationship with him. So much so that both of you, so much so that. You know, he can trust you. So much so that rather than go out there to seek for advice, it's coming to you, particularly the Father, for advice. Praise the Lord. Yeah. And the Lord will help you in Jesus' name. Amen. It is important that you form a relationship with your son. Very important. You know, and your relationship, the relationship is both vertical and what horizontal. Relationship in terms of teaching him the word of God. Relationship in terms of sitting down together and having a conversation about life. 
you know, when my son was in secondary school, you know, um, true life story, you know, we found out that he had a girlfriend, you know, and he wasn't sure what happened, he wasn't sure because of my role in church, how I was going to react. But I reacted in a very funny way, you know, and I, tr and I talked to him about what he needs to do and not to do. And my first reaction was that, oh God, I don't know if he said for me, he says, ah, thank God he's not... Mm -hmm. I would say, praise the Lord. So my initial reaction was, oh, thank God he's not. I give it to imagination. Praise the Lord. In as much as I was comfortable with it, I was happy in my spirit. That, thank God he's not. I don't know. You say it yourself, you know. Praise the Lord. You know, so I would have either said to him, face your studies, go to school. And that would have been counterproductive. And he never probably would have said anything to me again. And whichever way he was going, I wouldn't have known. So you need the wisdom of God when some information is communicated to you by him. How do I handle it? God, give me wisdom. What do I say? How do I react? So my initial reaction was to be glad within me. And then after that, I sat him down and I explained to him that education is important. Be careful, blah, 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 this, 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 and, and so on and so forth. And he appreciated it. Because he was thinking that the day I found out I was going to be living. But I was it? I had a choice. To go either way, you know, but I made a choice of educating him rather than get angry. And if I got him angry, that would have been the end of him telling me anything. And that's what this kid of nowadays are like. You know, you watch your reaction. If you react, if you react in a certain way, you ruin that relationship. And that's why so many kids nowadays don't have a relationship with their parents because they can't trust them. So they would rather get advice from their parents social media. So relationship, make sure there's a bonding between you and your son. However you want to do it, both of you, not just you. However you want to do it, God will help you and will give you wisdom in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm, I'm going to be running up soon. You know, um, I will read quickly, you know, a uh, relationship, I'll read quickly, you know, um, Colossians 3.21. It says, fathers and mothers, do not provoke your children. Lest they become what? Lest they become discouraged. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. And this, and you fathers, do not provoke your children to wrath, but bring them up in the training and admonition of the Lord. Ephesians six four. And when where it says fathers, it also says mothers. Now they're trying to change this, the, the scripture to say uh, God is gender neutral. That we can refer to God as a he. That God has to be referred to as they. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> you said that. Praise the Lord. These are the things they're coming up with. I'm sorry. On TV. On TV. That God is only He, but it's a day. So, but anywhere where God says Father, in this context, it also means mothers as well. So, let's say, oh, well, uh, yeah. Bible is Father and the Bible is not mother. You know, it's Father and what? And mother. And God will help you in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, I'm running up soon. You know, sacrificial. You know, you must make sacrifices for your children. Yeah. I've had people say, you know, that, ah, oh, well, there's a last meal. You know, I'd rather my, my children or my child has a last meal than I do. In those days when we were growing up, you know, certain things, if you kill a chicken, certain things belong to the father. You know, the thigh. It's the father that we the thigh. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord. You know, so well, now things have changed. You know, things have, you know, it's been flipped now. So it's important that you know, you, you, you give, you, you sacrifice your time, your energy, your determination to say, you know what, this child, I will do X, Y, Z for this child. Sometimes it takes a lot of sacrifice. And sacrifice, in this instance, I'm going to address you specifically. You know, uh, the baby's kind of three here. It's easy for you to leave the room for, for the mother and go and sleep in the other room. <laughs> praise the Lord. You know, praise the Lord. Sacrifice means when the baby is crying, yeah, you are there. Yeah, if you have to wake up, <laughs> if you have to wake up at 3 a.m. with her, you also have to wake up with the baby. Praise the Lord. So those are examples of sacrifice. sacrificial, you know, sacrifice your time, your energy, your efforts. You know, if they have open day in school, don't say, ah, oh, my dear, you go to the open day, you have to go to work. You have to create that time. Praise the Lord. Amen. Create that time. Even if it's not convenient for you, create that time. Watch him grow. Spend time with him. Go to the open day. Find out from the teacher God are teaching them. That takes a lot of effort and a lot of sacrifice. And God will help you in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm going to round up in a minute. 
you know, invest. I said invest, invest, and invest. Invest your time, money, in the interest. In school work, ask teachers questions, attend open days, and so on and so forth. Praise the Lord. So you have to invest your time in him. No time is wasted with a child. Yes. No time is wasted. As you invest in him, as he grows up, you begin to see what the reward of your investment. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Finally, vision. You have to provide vision. You have to tailor these children in a way that yeah. you want them to go. You know, and when they grow up, they will find their feet themselves. When I was in form three, I don't know what you guys call it, year, year nine or I don't know what. Year nine or year ten. My dad asked me, you know, what do you want to become in life? You know, and to be honest with you, I've been to to around I've been in around lawyers and I really liked their wig and their gown and that was fascinating. And I just said to him, without even thinking I said I wanted to be a lawyer. And that was it. From what I was from three secondary school, so year nine, nine. You know, and he ensured that all the subjects I chose were subjects that would enable me to do law. I did arts, you know, English, literature, history, you know, economics, maths, English. Obviously, you have to do maths and English, you know, and then make sure that I got enough grades to study law. Praise the Lord. He praised the Lord. You know, so I had a I had a vision when I was a certain age. And you have been nurture that vision by guiding me. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 And you know, we're in a different world now. The child says he wants to go to do music. <laughs> you have to let them be, or if you don't want, just guide them. But ensure to force them to do what they don't want to do. Kids of nine is they go to university, study a course, come out, and do something completely different. <laughs> Because our parents are forcing them to do what they don't want to do. Our son's fancy, she went to the she did law, but she's not she's not anywhere near law. She ended up doing banking. So she's a chartered banker now. So law and banking, all opposite. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So whatever they want to do, just guide them, lead them, but don't compel them. But pray. More importantly. God will hear your prayer from heaven and he will answer you in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. You know, Jeremiah, I'm finishing that. Jeremiah 23, verse 16. The Bible says, Thus says the Lord of hosts, Do not listen to the words of the prophets who prophesy to you. They make you worthless. They speak a vision of their own heart, not from the mouth of the Lord. Mm -hmm. So you have to have a vision, you know, direction for your, for your son. For your, for your son. And then you help him nurture it. What vision, for example, as a young boy that is a Christian, is a child of God, he grows up in the vineyard of God. You know, when I say vision, I'm not necessarily talking about, oh, he wants to be a lawyer, accountant, doctor. That will come at later years. But what vision do you have for him? That I want him to be a child of God. I want him to serve God. I want him to know God for himself. Praise the Lord. Yeah. And it's only you that can do that at an early age. Yeah. And the Lord will help you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. <coughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh -uh. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> That's all. Amen. 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 Um, let's have a word of prayer. Father, we just want to thank you for your word. Father, we pray, oh God, that your word will fall on fertile ground in the name of Jesus. Amen. But even after spoken to the parents, Lord, I pray, oh God, that even the Son, oh God, we hear these words by the Spirit. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you. Thank you. Father, we commit everyone here. You know the desires of our heart. Father, I pray this night, oh God, that you meet everyone at the point of their need in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. The Bible says, once I was young, but now I'm old. I've never seen the righteous forsaken. Mm. Now seek back for bread. Father, in the name of Jesus, no one here shall be forsaken. Amen. Amen. The seed will never beg for bread. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you. Amen. We are exalted forever and ever, God. Amen. For in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Yes. Uh -huh. You know, I've washed my hands, but do you have a... Uh, yeah? Sanitizer. <laughs> If you don't have, I can wash my hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. But I'm going to carry the baby while I'm carrying the baby. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. Thank you. Don't worry, I haven't got any. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
just that sometimes I can be a bit paranoid. You know, yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Amen. 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 So if you give the baby to the parents, yes. and then the baby will hand, yeah, they will hand over the baby to me, and then we will now name the child. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay. Amen. 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 One one go let's draw a boy. Looks like a man. One one go let's draw. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Um, I have the privilege of naming this child. You know, um, uh, apart from the parents and maybe a few others who gave the name. Uh, maybe most people don't even know the name yet. So I have the privilege. Uh, of uh, seeing the names and also naming this child. And I name this child in the name of God the Father, Amen. Amen. God the Son, Amen. Amen. and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I pray that all the names we pronounce upon you will, will, will stick with you Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Every pronouncement we make concerning these names, O oh God, Father, these names will stick with this baby Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. After pronouncing the names, O oh God, you will not be known as they be a but you will be known by your name. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you. Thank you. Lord. You are exalted forever and ever. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. Okay, we're going to call you names. And we're going to say the meaning of these names. And I will ask everyone to say the meaning of the child's name. And we're going to say the meaning of these names. And I will ask people randomly to give me one of the names. So you better just listen attentively. You know, I'm watching you. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Apart from the parents, you know, and maybe the auntie as well. I don't know if the auntie knows, but I'll be asking. Was randomly. So the first one is Oluwati Milei. I said, I said, call the names, please call them after me as well. Oluwati Milei. Oluwati Milei. God supports me, so God backs me up. God, yeah. God supports me, God backs me up. Ebenezer. Ebenezer. Our stone of help. Our stone of help. Ebenezer. Ebenezer. Our stone of help. Our stone of help. My joy is full. My joy is full. My joy is full. My joy is full. Oluwato missing. Oluwato missing. God is enough for me to serve. God is enough for me to serve. God is enough for me to serve. Amen. Ire ayomikosi. Ire ayomikosi. I'm going to ask one of these young girls to repeat that. Uh, yeah. If you to see whether they understand your remark. Ire ayo miposi. Ire ayo miposi. My joy has increased. My joy has increased. Uluwa mayowa. Uluwa mayowa. God has brought joy. God has brought me joy. God has brought me joy. Ola dayo. Ola dayo. My wealth has turned to joy. My wealth has turned to joy. Ulu soji. God has arisen. God has arisen. God will arise in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Uluwa Femi. Uluwa Femi. That's my name. That's a special name. So I will call you Femi. Praise the Lord. Uluwa Femi. Uluwa Femi. God loves me. God loves me. God will love you. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. I pronounce all these names in the name of God the Father. Amen. God the Son. Amen. God the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Okay, who wants to tell us any of the names? Uh, that's the easiest way. <laughs> I like that. You like that name? Oluwati Milei. Oluwati Milei. Yes. Who again? Oluwafemi. Sir? Ayo Miko. Ayo Miko. Praise the Lord. Yes. Who again? Okay. Because you're looking at me. Tell <laughs> <laughs> You. Okay, I'll stay. Don't worry. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So, Uluwati Milein, Ebeneza, Ayo Mekun, Uluwati Bissin, Ira Ayo Meposi, Uluwamayo Wa, Uludayo, Ulusoji, Uluwafemi, the son of Aki Gwenu. Praise the Lord. Amen. I missed that one. Okay, I'll start again. Don't worry. Uluwati Milein, Ebeneza, Ayo Mekun, Uluwati Bissin, Ira Ayo Meposi, Uluwamayo Wa, Uludayo, Ulu Soji, Ulu Afemi, the son of Akin Gwenu. 
Praise the Lord. Can we just stand to our feet as we pray? I want us all to stretch our hands to us. Uh, Femi. Uluwa Femi. Praise the Lord. Let's go for our hands to Uluwa Femi. Let's begin to ask that the Lord will strengthen him. That the Lord will increase in him. That you grow in strength and stature. When it's time for him to crawl, he will crawl. When it's time for him to walk, he will walk. When it's time for him to go to school, he will go to school. Let's ask that the Lord will be the spirit of excellence yes, upon him. Let's pray that the Lord will be the mark of righteousness upon him. No one will trouble him. Power in the name of Jesus. He will glorify your life. That he will be great. He will serve God. He will be a terror in the calm of the enemy. That concerning the Lord, who are fed, who are to this, we shall hear no evil report. In the name of Jesus. Let's cover him with the blood of Jesus. Let's pray that no one will be able to fight against him. Let's pray that every tongue that rises against him will be judged. Let's pray that every tongue that rises against him will be judged. Let's pray that every tongue that rises against him will be judged. Let's pray that every tongue that rises against him will be judged. Let's pray that every tongue that rises against him will be judged. Let's pray that every tongue that rises against him will be judged. Let's pray that every tongue that rises against him will be judged. Let's pray that every tongue that rises against him will be judged. Let's pray that every tongue that rises against him will be judged. Let's pray that every tongue that rises against him will be judged. Let's ask that the Lord will keep it and it's going out and then it's coming out. In the name of Jesus. That no evil shall come near his dwelling. Go on there with his eyes, with his ear, and the Lord will come to answer the vision. In the name of Jesus. Let's pray for his parents. That everything that his parents need to bring him up and not show him in the world, the Lord, that the Lord will provide for them. In the name of Jesus. That as a result of them having this child with God's family, that God will open doors up to them. Doors of opportunity in the name of Jesus. That as a result of this child, that shall be increased in this family. That shall be dominion in this family. That the Lord will be the hope and the marriage of this soul. That God himself will reside in his home. And his home will be God's dwelling. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Father, we exalt you. Father, we bless you. And so, Father, and God, we just want to thank you. Father, we thank you for this bundle of joy. Father, we thank you. Father, thank you for the day this baby was conceived. Thank you, O oh God, for the time he spent in his mother's womb. Thank you for protecting, for shielding the mother's womb, O oh God, from the prying eyes of the enemy. Thank you for the day he was born. Thank you for his journey on earth thus far. Father, we commit the rest of his journey on earth unto your hands. Father, we ask, O oh God, that you hold him by the hand. Amen. Amen. With him side by side. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we ask, O oh God, that you put a mark of righteousness upon him. Amen. No one shall trouble him. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, I ask, O oh God, that you put the spirit of excellence upon him. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. That you be the head and not the tail. Amen. He will above only, he will never be the head. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. He will arise. He will shine. Amen. He will be like a light put on a hill that Amen. cannot be hidden. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Your, your talents will not be hidden. Amen. Your gifts will not be hidden. Amen. You will serve God. Amen. You will know God. Amen. You will know God for yourself. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Concerning you, Uluwa told me, we shall hear no evil report. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Because you have become an addition to this family, Doors will open. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Doors that have been closed before now will open. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, as a result of you being an addition to this family, this home will be blissful. Amen. The marriage will be blissful. Amen. Jesus, you will reside and reign in this home. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Oh, Lord, when it's time for you to walk, crawl, you will crawl. Amen. When it's time for you to walk, you will walk. Amen. When it's time for you to go to school, you will go to school. Amen. When it's time for you to begin to experience milestones, you will experience them. Amen. Amen. You will grow in stature. Amen. You will grow in spirit. Amen. You will grow in wisdom. Amen. You will grow in knowledge. Amen. You will grow in understanding. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. And I decree that no weapon of the enemy fashion against you shall prosper. Amen. Amen. Every time I rise against you, judgment shall be condemned. Amen. No divination or enchantment against you shall, 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 shall come to pass. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Only the word of the Lord will come to pass in your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. And counsel every contrary spirit. Mm. 
and I anoint every ear that will hear this news. I anoint every hand that will carry Odua Femi in the name of Jesus. Amen. The evil one shall not hear this report. Amen. The evil one shall not carry this baby. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord, I pray for the spirit of discernment for the parents to know good from bad, good from evil. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you. Thank you, thank you Jesus. Thank you for everyone present here thank tonight, God. God. You. you know the desires of our hearts. Mm. We ask, O oh God, that you begin to make a way for us, even when there seems to be no way. Amen. Yeah. An adventure that someone says, when will this bond of joy be mine? Jesus. Lord, I pray that you put the asset of heaven on that thought. Amen. In that name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, you are able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all, we may ask, imagine, according to your power that works in us. Mm. Lord, even as we continue with this program, Lord, continue with us. Amen. Amen. Let your name be glorified. Amen. Amen. Thank you for this baby once. Thank, thank you, Lord. Lord. Thank you for all the names pronounced. Amen. Lord, I decree that these names, I will call one more, Lord, God, Lord, God, Jesus. Oh, this is Lord, God, Jesus. Amen. Amen. I will be on the cup. I'm a little bit. Ah, me. Oh, my yellow, little God, yes. Ah, me. Oh, my mu, it do no, it to no one single lady, little God, yes. Amen. How will be a barrier? Ah, you want to cook? Lord God Jesus, Amen. Father, we thank you. Amen. Be our exalted forever and ever, God. Amen. Amen. For in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 I'm going to hand over this baby to the Father. And then the father will hand over the baby to the mother. But I'm going to hand over the baby to you with a chat. Eh? Before God and everyone here, I want you to promise that you will nurture this baby in the way of the Lord. You will train this. I can't hear you. Oh, yes, you will sir. train the baby in the way of the Lord. Oh, yes, sir. You will oh, nurture yes. him. You will provide for him. You will care for him. You will give him security, a roof, Amen. clothes on his back, Amen. shoes on his feet. So help you God Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So I'm going to hand over the baby to you. And then you hand over to the mother. Praise the Lord. Oh, that's good. Ah, I like that. Well done. That's good. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Please be seated. Uh, no, Amen. no. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Let's start. Sorry. So we're going to ask for some prayers. So I want you to give me someone no, to pray for the baby. To pray. And I want her also to give me someone to pray for the baby. Okay. So I want to nominate anyone. No, nominate this. Okay, and there was a second person. So that was the second person. Okay, let's start with Pastor Stephen. Pastor Stephen. We'll start with Pastor Stephen. So please help us pray. Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Almighty Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You created today. <coughs> yes. And you manifested that we all be here today. Mm. Amen. Maybe there are faces I've ever seen mm. when you made this to happen. Yes. Mm. You cause the birth of this child. Yes. Father, cause your mercy to happen upon him in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Create a providence mm. that will open ways for him in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. The light of God shines. Darkness cannot come. Oh, yes. I pray that you walk in the light of God. Amen. Amen. I pray that you walk in the mercy of God. Amen. Amen. Ways will be open for you. Amen. Any obstacle against you is demolished. Amen. Any power that want to rise against you, they are demolished. Amen. The grace of God shall be with you. Amen. God will be your Emmanuel. Amen. His presence will be with you Amen. day and night. Amen. All the days of your life. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. When you are growing to walk, there will be no difficulty. Amen. When you are growing to speak, there will be no hindrances. Amen. When you are growing to go to school, no one will stop Amen. you. Amen. No evil teacher will come against Amen. you. Amen. The power of the Lord will be your guide. Amen. This house, this family, mother and father, and all the siblings, I pray that the grace of God will be upon you. Amen. Peace of God will be established. Amen. Resources to guide the child in the way of the Lord, the Lord will give you. Amen. Amen. Not like power, patience, and wisdom, the Lord will grant you. Amen. The man of God has preached and committed you into making him grow in the way of the Lord, the Lord will enable you. Amen. Heavenly and divine and Amen. shall be your experience. Amen. And so shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Every Father, we thank you, Lord. Thank you. 
We thank you, Lord. Hello, Father, we ask we glorify your name, O Lord, yes, accept Lord. our thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hello, Father, we commit this your son into your hand. Yes, Lord. Right from the beginning of time, you know, you know his destiny. Mm. Mm. You know why you brought him to this world. Mm. And you know the beginning and you know the end. Yes, yes. yes. O Lord, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, he shall, he shall fulfill his destiny in the mighty Amen. name of Amen. No evil eyes shall behold him in yes. the mighty Amen. name of Jesus. As he is, uh, become a member of the Akinkwe Nose family, oh Lord, these families continue to, will continue to be blessed in the mighty Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. Oh Lord, Father, in every ramification of their life, financially, in every ramification of their life, uh, emotionally, in every area of their life, these families continue to, to blossom in the mighty yes. name of Jesus. Oh Lord, Father, and everyone that's coming here to, to attend this uh, day, to witness this day, in the mighty name of Jesus, we shall not gather here to bury this child in the yes. 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 yes, yes. We shall not gather here, oh Lord, Father, to, to go and visit this child in prison in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We gather here for this child uh, to enter university in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We gather here on the day of graduation. Amen. 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 There on the uh, on the uh, when he's uh, the, the celebrating my uh, marriage in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. This child child I fulfill all his milestone in life at the right time in the mighty Amen. name of Jesus. Oh Lord Father, Lord, we commit uh, the mother of this baby into your hand. Lord, Lord Father, you shall continue to strengthen her in the mighty Amen. name of Jesus. You shall continue to give her strength and good health in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Every resources that is uh, that you that is needed for this child, all of our right to blossom, all of we shall provide it for the family in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. We shall for, we provide it for the father and the, and the mother in the mighty Amen. name of Jesus. And all the siblings too, they shall continue to blossom in the mighty name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. All of our, thank you Lord for answering our prayer. Thank, thank you Lord. Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus we pray. Amen. 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 So there's one more. So because we're speaking into his foundation, we're making a declaration to his foundation. So the father is not going to make a prayer. You can pray or you can make a declaration. This is the foundation. So let's pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, I pray over Lua Tinden today. Everlasting Father, come and take absolute control of his life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Commit him into the hands of Almighty God in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. In every area of his life, he will be well with him in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. He will never have setbacks in his life. Amen. God will always take him to his next level in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Doors of blessing, doors of greatness, God will acquire for him in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. He will never fail in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Just him and his siblings and his older ones there, they will love each other in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Compassion against them shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Take good care of them in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Bless. Amen. 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 Bless in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Give him wisdom. Amen. Give him knowledge. Amen. Give him understanding. Amen. Say, Oluwati, man, you'll be a winner. Amen. In every area of your life, you'll be a winner. Amen. You'll never experience failure in the mind. Amen. God will guide you to know your name. Above all, you will serve God. Amen. Above all, you will serve God. Amen. Above all, you will serve God. Amen. 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 So shall it be. Amen. 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 Jesus, Amen. 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 So um, let's be seated. Um, so we try the prayer. So the next segment now is um, we're going to ask the mother for um, either a testimony or a song. So this is about on this journey, on this journey. If there's anything you can share with us that God did, that you can say definitely in this moment they were not lots of people, but one might stand out for me on this journey to have this faith. Or if you just want to see the testimony song oh, instead, just share with us. Um, I think I'll just say that God has been good to me. Oh, 
Like everything we're doing for the baby today is the first. So now we're going to give an offering. I need to say something. We are sewing into the baby's back. We have a basket. So we have a basket. So we have a basket. So we have a basket. What's that? So this is a big old baby. It's a baby. We call it a baby seed offering. And uh, it is for the baby, so just make that clear. But we're sewing, everything is about foundation today because it's going to be mighty in the land. So you can go years to come because and I was there, I was there. Because whatever you sow into his life, you will speak. Because he said that we speak for whilst the earth remains, God said, see time and others will remain. So he will always speak. And he'll always speak for you at the gate. As he becomes mighty, so he will be speaking for you as well. Amen. So I want to encourage everyone to sow into his life, sow into his foundation. Because God is the one that knows the end of every matter yes. from the beginning. And we know that greatness has come into this world, and greatness is upon his life. Because God has made him perfect. So I encourage everyone to sow his seed. So we're going to um therefore stick around. So just take this on. Come and join this in God. Jehovah Jireh, God knows well. Come and join us in Hallelujah. Jehovah Jireh, God knows well. Come and join us. Come and join us in Hallelujah. Jehovah Jireh, God knows well. Come and join us in Hallelujah. And because we have done this joyfully, joy will always be in his life. Amen. So the one that gave joyfully will always have joy Amen. by the name of Jesus. Amen. So I hand you over to you. So please keep this for him. And um, yeah, keep it for him. Thank you. So in, in, in 10 years time, we pray that become 1 million. Amen. 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 Let's do for him. Put it back there. I don't know what to do, but it's for him. So thank you. So we're now going to take, um, we're going to, um, we're coming to the end of um, the ceremony. I want to thank everyone once again that has come to rejoice, um, to celebrate with the Tupelo. Uh, I pray that the uh, sound of celebration will not depart from your homes, from your feet, and from your steps in the name of Jesus. Amen. And we will always have the reason to rejoice having come together today yes. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let us all rise whilst we take the closing prayer. Almighty Father, we thank you. Yes. Great and mighty I am, we exalt your name. Yes, Lord. Glorious one, we give you all the praise and all the adoration. The one yes, that Lord. died and I, we magnify you. Oh, yes, yeah. We thank you for your presence in this place. Yeah, and thank you for your presence yeah, yeah, yeah. in this home. We thank you for your hand upon this child. Oh, yes. We thank you because he is in this precious in your sight. Mm -hmm. We thank you because from this day you are going to guide him and all the days of his life you will guide and lead him in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We thank you for the parents. We thank you because we know that all that they need you will grant us to them. Oh, yes. Amen. Amen. Them, you will lead them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Everyone that is here that has rejoiced with them, we thank you because they have come together to rejoice and once again we say the sound of rejoicing will not depart from their homes and their lives in the name of Jesus. Amen. For everyone that is looking unto you for a thing of joy like this, for everyone that's standing in the gap for someone that's about this time next year, 
the joy will be full. Amen. 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 At a time of remembrance who come to their home, their life in the name of Jesus. Amen. I will pray for the siblings of Oluwa Timelein. Mm. We pray, my Lord, that my Savior, that I shall be well with them in the name of Jesus. Amen. We pray, Almighty Father, that there will not be problems in this home. Yes. Amen. We pray that there will not be contention. Amen. Amen. Lord, that there will be harmony. Amen. Amen. There will be peace. Amen. 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 Joy that passes all understanding will flow like a river. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus. Amen. We shall be well with them. Amen. Concerning their health, they shall be well with them in the name of Jesus. No one will be sick. There will be no emergency. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We pray, my Lord and my Savior, that as the sun has come up in the sky today, your sun, your light will continue to shine in this life. In the name Amen. of Jesus. We will never go down in the name Amen. of Jesus. We will never be in a dark place in the name of Amen. Jesus. Everything that has afflicted the Egyptians will not afflict this home in the name Amen. of Jesus. We shall be well with them. Yes. We pray. That the blood of Jesus will mark this home and mark your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. It will pass you by. Yes. But the angel of the Lord, angel of promise, angel of fulfillment, angel of blessing mm. will locate in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. The Lord will sign post in this place. Your, the blessing that the Lord will bring into this home, it will be a signpost for only what God can do in the name of Jesus. Amen. This God will be good to you Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. We cover everyone that is here with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Amen. Amen. If they pass into their home, it shall be well with them. Amen. 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 Other their steps that don't to safety in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every time we come together, every time we speak, it is to give you glory, yes. to give you adoration, yes. and to magnify your name. Yes. Thank yes. you, eternal King. Blessed be your name, most high. In Amen. Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. 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 Shall we share the grace in fellowship? Amen. The grace of Jesus Christ, the Lord of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me. All the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in us the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Congratulations once more. Congratulations. 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 Well done. Well done. Okay. So. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you. God bless you all. Thank you, sir. Once more, we're from Trinity Chapel, uh, where he worships. <laughs> Amen. 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 Yes. 
Because the, the batteries run down, okay. so it's, uh, it's um, balanced. Okay. So that's why. So I'll show you before we finish okay. how it works. Okay. So it helps to balance. The, uh, I just, I just like it. Yeah. <laughs>
horror or comedy. That one's a hit. Fred Sowers or House of Cards? Husbands. Coffee or tea? Tea. Coffee. Is there anything you want to agree on? Tea. What's on go? For my tea level, I do. I find it very educational because it's not just learning, as you apply as well. Yeah, it is. It is a wonderful experience. Physically seeing and doing things rather than just classroom types. And you're really enjoying it. And I think maybe it was the best thing for you. You really sort of blossomed and you're doing fantastic. So if I was speaking to someone who was thinking about their course for next year after the GCSEs, I would definitely recommend a T-level. If they can learn better through actively doing what they learn, I'd say a T-level is perfect because that's exactly what you do. I think it's really good to actually get involved and stuck in doing what you're doing as well as, you know, classroom-based education as well. And I think it's just basically a big door for you. Yeah. <laughs> 
Isn't it crazy how you can have all the sources in the world and still feel alone? So what can you do about it? Success deserves to be celebrated. Would you like me to throw you a party? Done. Invites all sent. It's on, but there's no one on there. Is it finished? You can end it. Should I end it? That was taking video. That was taking video. That was taking video. Like, 
I'm on my wrist, the code, the freeze you Them know they call me Mr. Money for no reason You get a single, I'm a piano We go show, we go let them go Now we did run up down and let me show We kept that in the force, we kept that in the force Bad man flows, put them on their toes On the road, the girl them know My belly shot, that's how she jam Colorado, fast with the facts I'm a piano, piano It's a big vibe, we kept them know Steady, steady Wait, I'll just see you now. 